Clayton Patterson, and we're here at Sneakers and Stuff showing the front door photographs. This is a uh, yeah. This is the front door book. You know, I got multi generations of that. Some of those kids went on and have grandkids now. So I photographed some of them when they were kids, and now some of them have kids, and some of them have grandkids. And it's a whole cross section of the Lower East Side. You know, some of them went on and became teachers and things. Other ones on and became crews and gangsters and whatever. So it's kind of like, in a way, John Gotti's neighborhood catching them when they were all kids. So and what made you start doing this? Like how? Uh, it just integrated me into the neighborhood. I mean, it, um, you know, for inner city, I probably have the largest collection of inner city photographs of just the people than anybody. Because this goes from 14th Street to the Brooklyn Bridge, the whole Lower East Side. All the different projects, Majorek, Baruch, Compost. Yeah. I used to hang out at the Compost project. I used to live on 14th and 1st. Ah, oh, so, yeah. So. Because what happened is, is that I, I built the Wall of Fame in the window. Okay. You had the Hall of Fame, which was the door. And then you had the Wall of Fame, which was the uh, the Hall of Fame, which was the pictures, and the Wall of Fame, which was the door. So everybody wanted to be famous. And I always tried to take the best part. So these kids, even though some of them are, you know, street crews and graffiti and whatever, who normally wouldn't want to be photographed, by making them famous and taking the best part, making them smile before I took the picture, it just made a really kind of neighborhood scene. Yeah. Yeah. And so you know, all these kids grew up. I mean, I want you to. I know these kids now. These kids, he's got lots of kids. Yeah, another one ended up back in jail. Another one ended up dead. I mean, it's really amazing following through where everybody ended up. Not all of them. Before good you would photograph them, would you ask them like a little bit about them, or like how did you? Uh, I just kind of got to know them. Just kind of got to know them, you know. I mean, keep them coming back. So I was getting them during the formative years. So when some of these guys grew up and became like thugs or whatever, you know, it was like, hey, yo, what's up? You know, someone went on and ran crews in prison, you know, like through the MKs, like head blood in the prison system and that, you know. When you catch them when they're kids, you kind of have sort of like that innocent part. So it's nice to carry on with that. You know, I don't need the thug. The thug, I can, you know, find that easy. 